They so contrite. Never bought in when they all green. I be looking like the bartender. Got a couple of trees that like, oh yeah, what I know this when they keeping it open. They hope you reloading and keeping you floating. That boat that you roaming is paid by your boat. This is specially chosen. What you did not know this that the liquor so potent. Curse with this old man. Lock it up. That's enough. Got a massive rush for the buff showing up, going up. Now you stuck. It's a channel that you come to when you jump on YouTube. It's Trap Boy Freddy have a death wish. It's your favorite local, especially after all the spokes. Support the real, get rid of the fake, the FV to the industry. How you fight back. It's simple. All you got to do is just subscribe. Then follow me on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. Seti National. Follow you back like your pictures and all that. What up with the visionaries? So Trap Boy Freddy, you know, put out the, we, ain't, we outside, ain't nobody scared and all that. And whatever they try to say because the police and everything like that. Okay, but in Texas, you can open carry, so you can walk up on somebody if you really want to smoke like that and really kill them. Now, you're going to suffer death immediately, but that could be a suicide bomber mission. You feel me? So, it ain't, I mean, just depend on how amped somebody is. Drugs is a hell of a motivator. But we take that, and then we talk about Trap Boy Freddy talking about, you know, they shot up my Sprinter van, and I got it repaired. Yeah, okay. Then he riding around through Oak Cliff and, you know, supposedly the spot where Boosie got shot at and everything like that. Now, granted, Oak Cliff is his hood. And I'm not saying, hey, you can't go to your hood and do whatever you want to do. Like, that don't, for me to say that don't make no goddamn sense. But what I would say is, bro, it don't seem to be really what you want to do. It seemed to be you reacting. What do you mean, Nash? He talking about all the time people saying and this and that and everything like that. See, yeah, you could be cool and be the toughest person and all that. And, you know, I'm not saying you is and I'm not saying you ain't. I personally don't give a damn. But see, when you are no longer in control of your moves, that means you are being controlled. Y'all can disagree all you want to. That's perfectly fine. He gonna disagree and say, you know, I'm just standing on my name and can't nobody disrespect me. Indeed. But here's the problem with you youngins who don't realize about war. No matter how in which your enemy die, if you are the one that is still standing, you are the one who won. So if y'all want to sit here and go ahead and diss and everything like that, because let me tell you something. The fans don't love you and hate you as much as they pretend to. I got to put in that hate, too. Everybody love Mo3 now that he gone. Is Mo3 a dope-ass artist? Absolutely. But it's more fans of Mo3 now than it was when he was, on, when he was alive. Now, granted, Mo3 definitely was on the come up. Definitely was looking like that next artist and everything like that. And it would be hard to deny that he was. But also, too, when rappers die, a lot of these people become nowadays fans, right? Like me, I didn't listen to Triple, I mean XXX Tentacion until he passed. But that's because of something he had did, and then you know the stuff that happened in San Diego. So on a California thing, I said, "No, nah, I'm not rocking with Kills." I listened to him afterwards. But what you don't see is you don't see me making hella videos about him and dropping hella posts and singing hella songs and stuff like that. Nah. They don't hate you, and they don't love you as much as they pretend. These ain't nothing but people trying to shatter your goddamn cage. And if you let them, you are no longer in control of you. And at the end of the day, can't nobody make money for you but you. I'm not telling you to knock it off, but I'm telling you what's your purpose in all of this. End of the day, if it's a year from now, and you're sitting here, you're still doing music, you got your freedom and your health, and you got your wealth, what are you going to be doing then? What should we look forward to? Because eventually people going to turn you off. Damn, another year. Here you go, Trap Boy Freddy. Did some more three again. One trick pony. It is what it is. Y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Make sure you check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Make sure that you stream the music, Setty Nash music. I know y'all like what I put in that intro, right? And also... Make sure you follow me on Instagram for your followers and hella likes, dude. Come on, brody. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Why the hell not? <laughs>